A full state funeral for a celebrated general. A century on from Georgi Kvinitadze's separation from his homeland. Georgia's president is herself a descendant of Georgians forced to flee the Bolshevik advance in 1921. Your belief and the belief of my father and all other Georgian emigrants has been justified. Georgia is immortal and the restoration of independence is inevitable. Exhumed and repatriated from France, the bones of the general and of his wife lie together in one casket. The general's return comes 30 years since the restoration of independence for Georgia after the collapse of the Soviet Union. And it's been a hundred years since that independence was taken from Georgia after the invasion of the Red Army, an invasion that sent the general and his family into exile. As commander-in-chief of the army, General Kvinitadze secured Georgia's borders for its three brief years as an independent democratic republic. But after the Bolsheviks' victory, he and his family found sanctuary in France. Tommy and Nano, so Nano's my mother. My grandfather was getting older and he had a bad fall and he was so sad um, to not be able to go back to Georgia and die in Georgia. He was so sad that Georgia was still part of the Soviet Union and that he, his dream was to come back to a democratic, independent Georgia. Um, and it's very moving for us that it's happening now, today. Kvinitadze's funeral fell on Georgian Independence Day. A display of military endurance in the face of ongoing threats. Russia still occupies 20% of this country's territories. Some believe Georgia's democratic story, as old as the generals, is missing from today's narrative. He won many battles and he fought even 1921 battle uh, very well. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, current Georgia ignores democratic legacy. We still don't have a, even a single monument dedicated to the founding fathers of the First Republic. The general has a new resting place in Tbilisi's pantheon. His nation's identity renewed, his military legend restored. Robin Forrestier Walker, Al Jazeera, Tbilisi.